All right, going into this movie, I was a little worried I wasn't going to be able to quite catch all of it because I was feeling a little, uh, I'd had a few beers. So we get to the theater and sitting immediately in front of me is a beautiful ginger muscle cub with his tank top wearing silver daddy. That's right, honey. The gays are out in force to see Maleficent and we all know that this shit is going to be influencing all the basic bitches in the drag community for decades to come. Muscle Bears and Silver Daddies are here to view the movie, and I realized quickly that I would rather be turning my whole situation around to view them instead of this boring-ass movie. Now listen, let it be known, I love Disney. Dumbo is one of my five favorite movies. A dream is a wish your heart makes, bitch. And Sleeping Beauty is a classic, and the character of Maleficent the Dark Fairy is one of the most well-designed villains in the whole ultra-gay canon of Disney drag queen villains. But this movie is suffering from some really bad Disney logic because Disney just simply will not do a movie that has gray areas or doesn't have a happy ending. They're just not going to do it. And... So the whole thing is screwed right from the start. I mean, they're basically like, okay, we're making a movie about the villain from Sleeping Beauty, but we need to have people empathize with her. Oh, how are we going to make people empathize with her? Let's have her do literally nothing bad or cool the whole movie. Listen, we don't care if people do bad things. Everyone liked Heath Ledger better than the fucking Christian Bale in the Batman movies. I was really hoping they would go, like, a Tony Soprano route with it, you know, where it's just through the strength of the character, you don't care about the bad things, but that was never going to happen. Angelina Jolie, I never really liked her. I did some research, Wikipedia, which told me she was not some good movies, but I haven't seen any of them, so I will be the judge of that. And the script here is just horrible. I, I just fucking hate... I just hate people saying beastie all the time, and you can only go so many times, like two times, and then I'm just totally over it. It's like Angelina Jolie didn't have a chance here. The makeup is terrible. She, everyone looks like puffy clouds with just horrible lit choices. It's just so high school theater department. Maleficent's got those Lady Gaga born this way cheekbones that would probably be cool to me if I didn't fucking hate Lady Gaga. Elle Fanning plays Sleeping Beauty. I don't think I've seen a less charismatic actress. She's just riding on Dakota Fanning's coattails and I just can't be bothered. There was one part of the movie I kind of liked where this dragon was fighting these guys in armor and they both looked evil but you knew the dragon wasn't evil. That was kind of like a good message like appearances are not what they seem. It was like kind of a nice animal rights message. But really this movie was so boring, it made me go home and watch Frozen. <sighs> so good. I also realized through watching Frozen that Maleficent steals some plot points about true love's kiss from Frozen, basically. This movie was like the part before you go on a ride at Disneyland where they show you a movie about the ride. It was so bad. <laughs> 